fucking bitch, man. All right, let's fucking open this shit. Uh, there we go. Nice. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Shadow. Uh, this is my second time recording this video because uh, I fucked up the audio files, so. The beat's already done, pretty much. I'm just gonna run you guys through how I made it. I mean, it's gonna come out the same, you know. The beat's just done already. Uh, I'm not gonna play it to the end, though. You know, I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, before we get into the video, if we can get this shit to, like, 50 likes in the first week, I will make another tutorial video, and I'll keep making tutorial videos because these are pretty fucking fun to make. So, yeah. Alright, uh... So with NASCAR allotype beats, you know, the the main thing you want is is a really gritty sample, a uh, really hard 808, and really like dirty drums, you know, just shit that that's really like, I don't know, bro. You just want the beat to sound like disgusting, pretty much, you know. That that's how like NASCAR that's how NASCAR does his shit. So I'm gonna run you through how to do this. Uh, I'm gonna start with the sample. For a sample, um. There's a lot of things you could do to get a sample, you know. You, you can search random shit on, on YouTube. What I like to do, though, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to plug my kit real quick. Shadow kit right here. You could download that. I'll put it in a link in the description. Uh, I have a folder that's got, like, what, 13, 13 NASCAR-type loops. For this beat, I use the sixth sample. Sounds like this. You know, that's sounding pretty NASCAR. I just fit it to the tempo. It came out like this. Usually, I like to, to pick an 808, or at least pick out, like, most of my drums. Uh, now, I'm going to plug my boy Hickey's kit. This kit is so fire, bro. The Hickey Sauce Pack. If you don't have this shit, go download it now. I'm putting that in the description, too. This kit is, like, ten times better than my kit. Like, my kit's good. Hickey's kit's amazing, bro. You gotta go download this shit, like, right now. Right now, bro. And the 808 I picked from this kit is the Holocaust 808 Edit. I mean, like, come on, bro. That, that shit's too fire, bro. That, that's too hard. Alright, so... So... You're gonna take, uh, the drum that you want. You're gonna take it, drag it into the, to the channel rack. Done with that. Um... Let's see here. I'll run you through the sounds that I picked. You know, that part's not that hard for beats. I picked the dirt clap. It's like my favorite clap for NASCAR beats. I'm pretty sure that was from my kit. Let me check real quick. It was uh, a reverse hat. Again, from my kit, you go to, go to the hi-hats. Reverse hat four. There you go. I got hella reverse hats. You know, this is not something that's always done in NASCAR type beats, but this is something that I like to do in my type beats. I reverse the hat. You know, this is just like a... This is from the Hickey kit. You know, I just picked that for like a little drop thing. This is a perk. A little perk. This is a... Another perk. And then this is like... Like a build-up noise. Pretty sure those are all... Hickey kit noises, but yeah, that that's the that's the sounds that we pick. You want a nasty clap, the reverse hat. I mean, that's up to you, the reverse hat, and then just some like percussion noises and a nice 808. Uh, all right, I'm gonna lay out uh, the hi hats now, or, or show you how I laid out the hi hats, right? So this might seem complicated, but it's really not that complicated. I promise. Uh, it, it's just a two-step hi hat. You know, if you want to do that, just right click fill each two step you know uh and then basically you can click control l control l will stretch the notes out to to make them all hit each other basically um all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is is add like these little like chop roll things here i'll i'll play you the the hi-hat pattern real quick So the first thing we're gonna do real quick is uh, if you if you hold control down to highlight notes, I selected the first note, uh, and then you click 
Alt U. Alt U is a piano chopper note. It will chop it up into like, uh, like twos and fours, eights, whatever you know, like those kind of notes. Um, I just went through. I chopped this up, uh, you know, that much. Uh, once I chopped it up, I like lowered the velocity of each note, so it kind of trails off. Um, and then I added another chop right here at the beginning of the second bar. This is just a like a like a two note chop, not like like crazy like the first one. Uh, then at the very end, I chopped these as well. Uh, that's the start of this pattern, you know, without like all these notes up here or whatever. Uh, and then what you're gonna want to do, or or what I do, is I go, I click this uh, click this little little click this little like magnet here you go to third steps once you're in third steps you can see these notes are all in thirds then you kind of just have fun with it I mean there's no like no specific direction you have to take but I usually like to put these little like triplet notes and then these like this is like like double the speed of that or whatever and then these little rolls right here you know that's just a uh, I mean there's not much to it you basically just get like a, a real short note paste it four times or like this you know it's pretty much the same thing you just you know make the notes go down uh yeah that, that's how you do the hi-hats nothing too crazy uh moving on all right moving on we got the 808 this is like this is like everything with the nascar allo type beat so i'm gonna play you the 808 pattern real quick and just show you how i went through it <laughs> So it starts off pretty basic, you know, you don't you don't have to do too much. I mean, if you make beats, you sort of already know how to make an 808 pattern. Uh, the one thing that I like to do for NASCAR Allotype beats, or I mean, actually most of my beats now, is if you if you click on the actual audio, if you click on the actual audio, you have the envelope here. You just want to make this look like a square, you know, like you move, move these knobs around, make it look like a square. Basically what that does is, is the moment a note stops playing, it's just going to cut off. It's not going to trail on or anything. Uh... That, that adds like a nice like grittiness to the 808 patterns um so yeah, like i said i mean there's not too much to it um the one thing that you do want to do though is add high notes like here you see up here that's not that hard to do you just you just put a note down you just put a note down and then uh control up arrow a couple times you know move it some octaves up that's what that does and you just kind of want to sprinkle like high octave notes around the pattern and then the last thing I do which I really like to do is these these uh this right here uh you can kind of see how I do it already it's actually not that hard but uh, uh basically, basically what you want to do is just get the shortest note that you can what okay you <laughs> you want to get the shortest note that you can Take it, fucking note. I don't. What am I doing? Okay, you're gonna take it like that. You're gonna control, and just drag the velocities to like, like make it look like some stairs. You know, make it like, like roll up, and it's gonna give it a reverse effect. There you go. That that's the 808 pattern. It's really not that that complicated. You know, sprinkle in high pitch notes. I end every four bars with a high pitch note too. Uh, you could throw in some reverses in there if you want. That's it done uh well, i don't know what this even is all right again perks are not that crazy uh i mean here you can see these, these are the only two perks that i use throughout the whole beat you can you can see where they hit i mean they hit on like the third bar and the some shit i don't even know bro i you kind of just put the perks where you want to put the perks you know that's not that crazy uh and then Okay, I don't know how I even forgot about this shit, but the fucking clap, bro. This is the easiest part of the whole beat. It hits right there every time. That's it. You know, claps easy. You don't you don't got to worry about the claps ever. Um all right, so the beat's like almost done now. Now we just sort of have the structure here. Uh basically what I usually do, first 8 bars is like a build up then it drops, then it plays for like 8 to 16 bars, and then it drops out for like 8 to 16 bars, plays for 8 to 16 bars. Normally I'd structure it a bit like, 
more professionally, but this is a NASCAR type beat, so I don't think it really matters that much, you know, whatever. Um, and then I just added these two sounds right before the beat drops. I added this sound. And this sound. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. The One last tip, something that I always do. I always put a soft clipper. Always put a soft clipper on every single beat I make. Doesn't matter if the beat's hitting too hard or not. I just always put a soft clipper on. Always. Always put a soft clipper on your beats. Uh, and then the last thing I did... On the master volume, I right clicked and made an automation clip, made a drag off at the end, made a drag off at the end, and I mean, that's it. You can see how I structured it. You can sort of copy my, my structure style if you want or don't. It doesn't really matter. Uh... <laughs> guys that's pretty much it for the video if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't like the video don't i don't really care uh yeah subscribe if you want more content like this and yeah see you later guys